Coming up right now on this episode of Around the Oval, students are back on campus and classes are back in session with many noticeable changes. And we'll talk with the new volleyball head coach about his strategies as he begins his first season with USAO during the pandemic. That's all right now on Around the Oval. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, USAO has been taking steps and making plans to ensure the safety of our Drover community. When students arrived on campus this fall, there were noticeable changes made. Masks and social distancing are required for all while on campus. Classroom usage has been adjusted for reduced capacity, and even more events are virtual than in person. The university has provided increased cleaning and sanitizing, and as an extra precaution, all HVAC systems are equipped with UV filtration systems. I love USAO, and as an incoming freshman, I felt really nervous about moving away from home in the middle of a pandemic. But with all of the precautions we've taken, like masks and social distancing, I feel a lot safer being here away from home. We're experiencing something that we've never really dealt with before, um, and it's comforting to be here at USAO. Um, they've put a lot of a lot of standards and uh, protocols in place to help us uh, keep everything running as smoothly as possible. Um, and you know, this is just a good place to be right now. Stay up to date on what USAO is doing by visiting usao.edu slash coronavirus. Reporting for Around the Oval, I'm Daniel Buster. Drovers, the wellness of our campus is up to every single one of us and it's up to each of us to do our part so we can stay on campus this semester. By taking some simple steps, we can help stop the spread of COVID-19 and other respiratory illnesses on our campus. Mask up. It's mandatory to wear a mask on campus when you are indoors, and when you're outside and social distancing isn't possible. Plus, you can spread COVID-19 to others even if you don't feel sick. The mask is meant to protect others in case you are infected. Avoid close contact. Stay at least six feet or about two arms lengths from other people. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If you don't have access to soap and water, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Cover your coughs and sneezes with a tissue or the inside of your elbow. Remember, immediately wash or sanitize your hands. Monitor your health daily. Have you downloaded the Campus Clear screening app? If not, download the app on your phone. Log in using your usao.edu email address, enable the notifications, and log how you're feeling every day. If you develop symptoms, stay home and call your doctor. The only way we are going to defeat this is if we follow these simple rules every single day. Working together to study together at a distance. It's up to all of us to stop the spread. For more information, visit usao.edu slash coronavirus. Athletes and coaches are preparing for a season unlike any other. When the spring season was cut short, it left a lot unknown for the fall. Although the start of this season has been delayed and many restrictions are still in play, the Drovers are preparing for competition. Among them is Hunter Bishop, the new head coach for USAO's volleyball team. Our reporters took to the court to discuss how Bishop had to strategize to make connections with his new team without face-to-face -face interaction. So I was on campus for about a week before we actually like got shut down and sent home. We spent a lot of time just on Zoom getting to connect that way, even though it was a little difficult. We did a lot of mental training and just uh, prep of what we want our culture to look like and um, trying to connect the best I could with the players. But once we kind of got on campus, it honestly felt like I had been here for more than the few months that I had been just because I feel like uh, working on those relationships with the players uh, really paid off. Even though spectators are not allowed to attend our home events, there are still other ways you can support our talented athletic programs. Every home event will be broadcasted on our USAO Stretch Internet portal, which can be found at portal.stretchinternet.com forward slash USAO. 
Reporting for Around the Oval, I'm Tyler Bryson.